Greetings, everybody. Well, today, I'm showing you the construction progress on my Marine UH-3040 helicopters, as you can see here, right here. And of course, you know, this other model here, which was given to me as a gift. Now, I got these models, you know, a month before my 23rd birthday. And of course, the real reason why I've not finished these models is because little itty bitty parts are a pain in the neck, you know. And I needed to take some time off of the bench, you know, like these, these little itty bitty parts such as this tail rotors here, they really are truthfully a pain in the neck. And of course I admit to breaking them on the sprues. And now I had to order the parts and they took a while to get in and now they're here. Other parts like this, you know, are also a pain in the neck, like part number 32, as you can see here in the video. But I found a solution to that. What I did was I took a lighter and of course I melted the sprues and was sure not to melt the parts, but just the sprue holding the parts. And of course the, the proof lay in here, like these are the sprues for example, like what I did to part number 32 here was I lit it with a lighter yes I lit it with a lighter and then from there you know the parts got soft then I had to carefully remove the parts and and of course you'll know, carefully put the parts right where they need to be and now well I have some other parts here like this part here, you know, I had to you know, put some decals on this even while it's gluing and painting here. And yet that's one of the real reasons why I'm showing you the construction progress right now is because you know how traditionally, if any of you seen my model building videos, I'd show you the construction progress when the painting and the gluing is nearly done. Of course, when it's pretty much all done. But the reason why I'm showing you this now is because of some other fine details, you know which have to be done, such as, you know, the... Those, those, this cockpit part here, you know, like decal number one, I had to cut it from the sheet and put it on here after painting the panel. And of course, you know, this part here, I had to cut the decal out and put it on. I really just could have, would have, should have, and paint, should have painted it. Which actually, by the way, I did. Proof, right here. For part number... Come on, show up. Where are you? Uh, right here. Mm. And now... Other decals, such as the common markings here, I'm going to have to do those really soon because of the real thing. And now, oh, of course, you know, these grasshoppers here are pretty much almost done. All I have to do is have the other little parts, wait for it to dry, then on the ceiling. Now this model here was given to me as a gift by somebody because he knows I love to build models. And of course I thought I'd show you the construction progress on this one as well. Now it's almost done. I just need to put some other common markings on it. Just like I showed you, you know, on the back of this. But this time though, for, an, for the airplane. <laughs> then from there, I can put the rocket pods on this thing, along with the bombs in the external fuel tank, and she's good to go on, yes, she's good to go flying on my ceiling. <laughs> now, with that being the case, I have nothing else to say for now, so I will see you all around.